You've seen the ads. Settle your back taxes for pennies on the dollar. Call today. Well, it's never been that easy to work things out with the IRS. The IRS can be a pretty tough customer. But this year may be different, and you don't need to pay a lawyer or anyone else to help you. And here's why. The government is trying to help Americans deal with this terrible economic crisis. And this year, that means a kinder, gentler IRS. To aid in the economic recovery, the IRS says it wants to go the extra mile to help Americans who owe back taxes, especially those who've done the right thing in the past but are now facing unusual hardships. Depending on the circumstances, taxpayers in hardship positions may be able to adjust payments for back taxes, avoid defaulting on payment agreements, or possibly defer collection action. Here are a few things the IRS might be willing to do for you this year. Postpone collection actions. IRS employees will have greater authority to suspend collection actions in certain hardship cases where taxpayers are unable to pay. If you've lost your job or been hit with huge medical bills, you might fit into this category. Added flexibility for missed payments. If you've paid on time in the past but now face special circumstances, the IRS may cut you some slack. Additional review for offers in compromise. An offer in compromise is when the IRS agrees to settle your debt for less than the full amount owed. This is what all the lawyers say they can do for you, for a fee of course. Well, this year you'll find it easier to do yourself and you won't need a lawyer. But don't expect pennies on the dollar or any other advertised claim that you've heard in the past. It might be a kinder, gentler IRS, but it's still the IRS. Expedited levy releases. If the IRS has placed a levy on your assets, you may be able to expedite the release if you have a hardship case. If you think you qualify for any of the help we've been talking about, call the IRS by using the contact number on the letter you've received from the IRS. That way, the person you talk to will be familiar with your case. And there's more information on the IRS website, irs.gov. For ConsumerAffairs.com, I'm Mark Huffman.